Savior, Jesus Christ. And on behalf of Wesley United Methodist Church, we welcome you to this year's Christmas pageant. Let us pray. Our Lord and God, let us tell your story faithfully and hear it joyfully. In Jesus' name, amen. Excuse me, but, um... Um, Padgett, is something wrong? There's a tiny problem. Okay, well, if, if it's such a tiny problem, fix it. Okay, well, maybe it's not such a tiny problem. Okay, look, we have all these very nice people here to, that came to see our production. Can, can we just... It's, it's one of the wise men. What's wrong with the wise men? One of them has to leave early. Okay, what, what is so important that they have to miss the production? They want to go see some movie. It's something about stars and something about wars, but I don't know what's going on. But they, they can't just leave early. They're in the third act. Oh, okay, okay. I have an idea. I think we can make this work. Okay, and what's this brilliant idea of yours? I think we should do the pageant backwards. Oh, oh, sure. We could just do the entire thing backwards. It'll be easy. We do the third act first and the first act third. We do the... Third act first and the first act third. Get it? All right. Well, I guess we have no other choice. What could go wrong? Good. Okay, everybody, listen up. Herod, wise people, you're on first. Who's on second? Shepherds are on second. Mary and Joseph, you're on third. Wait, who's on first? No, Herod's on first. Never mind. Time to start. Fine. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the youth of Wesley United Methodist Church proudly present the Backwards Christmas Pageant. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar Field and fountain, moor and mountain Following yonder star, oh, oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Glorious now, behold him arise, King and God in sacrifice. Alleluia, alleluia, sounds through the earth and skies. Oh, oh star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright westward leading still proceeding guide us to thy perfect the king behold wise people from the east came to Jerusalem saying where is he who is born king of the Jews for you have seen his star in the east and have, and have come to worship him Herod summoned the wise men secretly and found out what time the star appeared and he sent them to Bethlehem saying go and search diligently for the child and when you have found him bring me word so that I too may come and worship him Excuse me, is this the palace of King Herod? Why, yes, it is. King Herod the Powerful? Indeed. King Herod the Mighty? Certainly. Then what are all these sheep doing here?
Haven't got a clue. They've been wandering the streets all morning. I was 20 minutes late to work. Blessed herd of sheep. What's that? Herd of sheep. Of course we heard of sheep. No, a herd of sheep. That's what caused the traffic jam. Actually, it's a flock. A what? A flock. The correct term for a group of sheep is a flock. Who said that? It is I. Oh, great, an English major. You may enter the palace. <laughs> you may enter the palace of the great King Herod. I'm a wise person from the east. We have, we have come here following under star. You know I've been wondering what that was. Think it's got anything to do with the sheep? I don't think so. Bring in the gifts. Taken as a sign that the king has been born. And we come the awful gifts. What are these gifts you brought? King, what happened? Let's just say you pick up a lot of lint when you're in a traffic jam with sheep. Who are they? Wise people from the east, your highness. They seek a newborn king. This is news to me. Where did you hear about a newborn king? Yonder star. You take it as a side. Oh, is that what it is? I thought it had something to do with the sheep. I guess not. Well, since you have traveled this far, why don't you entertain me and my assistant with a song? That was wonderful. Well, I know you want to get on your way. Feel free to use the showers and get anything you want from the cafeteria. I just ask you one thing. On your way home, I insist you stop here for the night. And when you do, 
Be sure to tell me where this king is so I can eliminate him. <clears throat> I mean worship him. Did I say eliminate? I meant worship him. Really? When they had heard the king, they went on their way. And lo, the star which they had seen in the east went before them till it came over the place where the child was. And being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. And in that region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an, angel of the and an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and, the glory of the and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will come to all the people. For you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with an angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to all. Where have you been? I'm sorry I'm late. You should be sorry. First thing on the job and you're late. I know, I just... You're not one of those people who think being a shepherd is easy, are you? No, sir, I just... It's not like we just sit up here admiring the view, staring at the stars. Oh, no, we work on this hillside. There are dozens of sheep out there counting on us. If one of us isn't pulling... There, wait, we could all have disaster on our hands. Yes, sir, you see, but... Remember the shepherd's, shepherd's curdo, credo? On the hill, on, on the time, time, on the job. Um, Chief? What is it? It's time for our damn break. Okay, everybody, shout time. Um, could you spare some? What? I don't have any dinner. You don't? No, sir. You see, I gave it to this young girl who looked like she needed it more than me. Oh, never mind. Here. I hope you like peanut butter and jelly. Yes, sir. I love peanut butter and jelly. Be not afraid. Where is it? For I bring great tidings of joy until you is born the day a Savior which is Christ the Lord. Praise the Lord. And this shall be a sign to you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. In a manger. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to the will of the Lord. Boy, that was amazing. <laughs> there we were in the presence of God's messenger, and we were all struck silent. That peanut butter and jelly really sticks through your mouth, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing of which the angel spoke. What about the sheep? Leave them. They're the sheep. What trouble can they get into? Wait, we can just leave them? I thought you said, oh, never mind. When the angels went away to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger.
the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah, whose wife was named Elizabeth. They were both righteous before God, but had no child and were both advanced in years. In the temple there appeared to Zechariah an angel of the Lord, who said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth shall bear a son, and you shall call his name John. And Zechariah said, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is advanced in years. The angel said, I am Gabriel, who stand in the presence of God, and I was sent to speak to you and bring you the good news. And behold, you will be silent and unable to speak until the day that these things come to pass. Mary, Mary, I got, I got, I got the mail, I got the mail. I got the mail, Mary. Here's a letter for you. Who stuck that? <laughs> Thanks, Joseph. How is everything in the shop today? Oh, the usual sawing, hammering, sweeping, and more sawing. Sometimes I wish things were a little different. Every day is always the same. I don't believe it. Which part, the sawing or the sweeping? No, Joseph, it's this letter from Elizabeth. Zechariah's wife? Right, they're going to have a baby. At their, a baby at their age? <laughs> and that's not all, Zechariah can't speak. He can't speak, he's probably in shock. They think he saw a vision in the temple. He was pro he's probably, maybe he was thinking about midnight feedings and changing diapers. <laughs> this is amazing, they've been praying for this for years. Well, I guess when God wants to do a miracle, you get a miracle. Hey, look. I sent for a letter. I'll run down to the post office Put and pick it up. Put that back. Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. Are you sure you're not looking for my husband? Do not be afraid, for you have found favor with God. So, this is going to be good news, right? You will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of Most High, and the Lord will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his, of his kingdom there will be no end. How can this be? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born with the whole will be holy. He will be called the Son of God, and now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. Therefore, it is impossible, God. Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Good thing I picked up this letter. There, there's going to be a census, and is something wrong? Joseph, you know how an angel told Elizabeth and Zachariah that they're having a baby, even though they're quite old? Um, yes. Well, an angel just came here and told me that I will have a baby who will be the Son of God. How can this be? I asked the same question. The angel said nothing is impossible with God. First, I'm really happy about this. Second, we have a problem. What's the problem? This letter, they're doing a census. Why is that a problem? We have to go back to my hometown of Bethlehem. I like Bethlehem. When do we leave? Oh, in about nine months. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I sure hope the angel was right about the nothing is impossible part. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at this saying and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus.
In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled. All went to be enrolled, each to their own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. So what do you think? It's not the honeymoon suite. <laughs> well, it does fit our budget. I'm sure it will do fine. I'm sorry, are you all right? I'm fine. Oh man, I'm late for work. It's my first night on the job. Anything else you want to say? Sorry. I've just been promoted from Sable Boy to Shepherd. Go, now you're hurt. Congratulations. <laughs> Before you go, is there some place around here we can get dinner? No, the restaurant at the end stopped serving at 10. But here, have mine. Oh no, we couldn't. It's okay. I hope you like peanut butter and jelly. Thank you. Oh, I love peanut butter and jelly. Thank you. And while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn. Sleep again? Yes, I'm glad you thought of putting him in the manger. How, how is the sandwich? Perfect. What a wonderful gift. Stuck to the roof of my mouth a little, though. <laughs> it's hard to believe. Not really. Peanut butter always sticks to my mouth. <laughs> no, everything the angel said. Oh, I can believe it. There are moments that change everything. This is one of them. When the angels went away to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see the thing that has happened, and which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known, they made known the saying which had been told to them concerning the child. And all who heard it wondered what the shepherds told them. And the shepherds returned, glorifying, the, glorifying and praising God for all they had seen, and it as heart and as it had been told to them. Is this the children, is this the child the angel told us about? Yes. I love what you've done with this place. When the wise people had heard the king, they went on their way. And lo, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. We are the wise people from the east. We are here to worship the newborn king. I, I thought you guys were going to see the new Star Wars movie. I wanted to see how the story ends. This is one of those stories that never ends. <laughs> and Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart. 
This will change everything. From now on, it will be hard to remember what life was like before this happened. This, this will change everything. everything. All fear and all terror will be as nothing compared to the love and hope in the face of one small baby. This, this will change, change everything. This is one of the moments of God's grace. And, and this, this moment, moment is